look and observe these pictures. When you light a flashlight, it forms a visible beam in the dark room or area with suspended dust particles. In what pattern does light travel? Is it in a curved line, spiral, or what? What do you think? Magandang buhay, students. I am your Sir Isagani. Welcome to our science channel. Today, we will learn about light. But before we proceed, do not forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to be updated to our new uploaded science video lessons. Light allows us to see what we read, guide us in crossing a path, and make us different things around us visible to us. Various activities are possible because of light. The beauty of the world can be witnessed and enjoyed by human because of light. In this video, you will know that light exhibits different characteristics and properties. Let's go and join me to find out the characteristics of light. Let us know this one by one. Light is a form of energy that travels in electromagnetic waves. As we remembered from the previous lesson, waves have two kinds, the mechanical wave and electromagnetic wave. Mechanical wave requires a medium or an object to produce, like the three states of matter, the solid, liquid, or gas, while the electromagnetic waves do not require a medium or an object to produce. Best example of this wave is the light. For our first characteristic of light, light is an example of electromagnetic wave. As we observe, rays of the sun can travel in our planet Earth. Why? Because light can travel in a vacuum. Yes, you heard it right, but that vacuum is not the same that we are thinking of. Vacuum is an empty space that there is no presence of air like the outer space. It can travel to a vacuum at a constant speed of 300 million meter per second or 3 times 10 to the 8 power meter per second squared. In any material medium or objects, the speed of light is always less than in 3 times 10 to the 8 power meter per second squared. It travels fastest in a vacuum and slowest in solid materials. For our second characteristic, light travels fastest in a vacuum with a constant speed of 3 times 10 to the 8th power meter per second characteristic. Light travels in a medium less than in 3 times 10 to the 8th power meter per second. So when you try to light an object and you observe that light pass through on it, this object is called as transparent. Examples of these transparent objects are magnifying glass, glass window, and clear water, clear glass. If some of light, again, if some of light pass through in an object, it is called as translucent. Examples of translucent objects are the lampshade, sunglasses, air, tissue paper, and others. Okay? But when an object absorbs the light and it does not let it to pass through, this object is called as opaque. Example of opaque objects are ball, trees, 
um, stones, table, and even as humans, we are also an opaque object or opaque human rather. Opaque. We are belong to opaque. Okay. For our fourth characteristic of light, light can penetrate through transparent and translucent materials but cannot pass through in opaque objects. Look and observe these pictures. When you light a flashlight, it forms a visible beam in the dark room or area with suspended dust particles. In what pattern does light travel? Is it in a curved line, spiral, or what? What do you think? You got it right. For our fifth characteristic of light, light travel in a straight line in an optically homogeneous medium. Shadows indicate that light moves in a straight line. Light bounces back when made to fall on polished objects or surfaces. That bouncing of light is called as reflection. Example of objects which light can be reflected are mirror, spoon, compact disc or CD, and other shiny or metal surfaces. But when the light bends and changes its speed when it travels from one transparent medium or object, it is described as refraction. Example of refraction, refraction are observed in these pictures, as you can see. Okay? Objects that soak in that water is just a representation of light, which can be bended once it strikes in a transparent object like the water. For our sixth characteristic of light, light once made fall on objects can be reflected or refracted. Light appears to have a dual in nature. During propagation, light exhibits wave characteristics but when it interacts with matter, it behaves like particles called photons. Photons are the basic unit that makes up all light. For our seventh or last characteristic of light, light behaves dual in nature. Waves and characteristics or other waves and particles. Now, let us summarize what we have learned about the characteristics of light. First, light is an example of electromagnetic wave. Second, light travels fastest in a vacuum with a constant speed of 3 times 10 to the 8th power meter per second. Third, light travels in a medium less than in 3 times 10 to the 8th power meter per second. Fourth, Light can penetrate through transparent and translucent materials or objects, but not in opaque objects. Fifth, light travel in a straight line. Sixth, light once made fall on objects can be reflected or refracted. And last but not the least, light behaves dual in nature, waves and particles. I hope you have learned a lot from this lesson. If you want to know the different colors of visible light, click this next video for you to find out. Again, I am your Sir Isagani. Have a nice day. Let us continue to be a light for each and everyone. See you next time!